Hi Sagittarius, this is Shah from Charlie Angel Tarot and welcome back. Thank you for all your likes and shares and if you're new, you've just landed on this page, welcome and please have a look at both of you, have a look at the weekly if you haven't seen the weekly yet. Uh, as the, in the introduction, there's loads of new things happening. There's a video, like uh, like I said in the introduction, you'll get find out there's a video on, on Libra and also on how to set your settings to get notified for, uh, for new videos or when I go live. There's also a new series started with the English Witch Georgina and there will be free giveaways in the autumn. Okay, so let's get started with your reading I'm using the transparent uh, tarot again the last four weeks uh, uh, three weeks um, you have seen me using them in the different ways they're awesome and I by the looks of it everybody's enjoying them okay I'm also using the tarot of the kingdom and also TLC for the soul and answers of the angels we start off with the two of pentacles for you that means that you might be trying to balance your finances or balance your home life and your work life perhaps you are working a little bit too much okay this can bring uh, unbalance or imbalance in a relate in your relationship if you are hooked up and this could also bring uh, imbalance in your life if you're not hooked up so you're working too much perhaps you're isolating yourself and not putting yourself out there so you can meet somebody you have the king of water here and the king of water is a cancer so if you're not hooked up then you can meet a cancer perhaps um, perhaps your partner is a cancer and perhaps he will be uh, perhaps he's oversensitive especially at the coming moment because on the 1st of October we have a full moon and we have a full moon on the 31st so there is a blue moon where there is two moons in a month there will be a blue moon so this is exceptional energy and we've just gone into Libra we've gone into the um, Maybon uh, festival or the Maybon season that's a festival of the Wiccans that is the f um, fall equinox so we're in the third uh, no the fourth the third um, quarter and now we're going into the fourth quarter of the year only three months and it's the end of the year the time has gone by very very quickly and that's three so three is significant and you've got the three of ones here I see wow okay so this is a very emotional time and Libra does mean harmony and peace that's what the sign Libra um, stands for there is also a video out there okay and a video on your settings okay I hope that helps you but don't exclude Scorpio or Pisces as we are also going into Pisces okay beautiful so this is going to be a powerful time for you Sagittarius you might be more emotional and that's why you can't keep balance look at that so perhaps now you will come into balance because now it's it's like somebody hugging you perhaps you might meet somebody and they might be hugging you constantly you won't feel so out of balance anymore you'll get your balance when you meet this beautiful cancer person they're soft nurturing passionate loving they will take care of you and bring you back into balance but you must come into action to do it yourself okay it won't happen by itself by itself don't isolate yourself either <coughs> if you have nobody and don't isolate yourself in a relationship either a relationship is give and take and that is what brings in the balance we've got the 
lovers here so you might meet a new person and the lovers uh, represent Gemini it could be a Gemini that you're meeting it's right on top of the ten of air um, so the ten of swords something might be coming to an end I'm reading for thousands of people so you know there might be just one person that might split up because you've met somebody else and they feel like your soulmate that is if you haven't uh, got anybody and if you are hooked up and you are out of balance or you are highly strung and emotional because that's the energy that we have here then you might want to break free because you've got the ten of swords here there's an ending but where there is an ending there's also a new beginning yes it does motivate us um, more uh, Oh, that's what I understand it does motivate us more to break free if we are not in balance or um, whether if when we are unhappy and our heart is broken because our partner is not um, bringing in the love or the hugs that you want that everybody needs we all need an arm around us then we are moti motivated to look outside the house okay outside our boundaries of partnership so that could be happening for uh, some of you you could be meeting a cancer or a gemini like i said sagittarius you could be meeting a gemini that is your opposite sign and uh, this also means soulmates so you could be finally meeting your soulmate and look where it sits your eyes are on the light you are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel that is what comes in so you might be meeting your equivalent your soulmate now we're getting to the three of wands your plans are coming to fruition okay your boats are, are coming in abundance is coming in so whatever you've been planning whatever you've been wanting is coming in for you whether it's money whether it's love whether it's partnering up abundance is here you are in your power you are you're in you're, you're standing strong you are balanced because we've got the temperance and that means balance and that also represents Sagittarius now Sagittarius that could be the third week of October so if you've been um, isolating yourself within the relationship and you've you've come out of your ice uh, uh, isolation and you've been doing something you might be and you want to stay in this relationship then you've been working at it you've been manifesting it you've been planning things and your come your plans are coming together so if you want to stay in this relationship then something has been tweaked either with you or with your partner you've communicated and you realize that your soulmates that you want to stay together peace is here because I see pretty dominantly the white birds you are in balance you're full of love and passion again and talking about balance you've got the scales the truth has come out the truth has come out what you want the truth has come out how they feel and that will bring you back in balance or you might like I said because you've got the ten of air underneath the lovers you one some of you might be getting divorced so this means a divorce if you are not in balance perhaps your plans to uh, separate have come to fruition that will bring you uh, abundance in one way like freedom of a partner that you don't want to be long with uh, be belong or be beside with anymore so you might be going to the courts and justice will be done it will be a fair separation 
the sun is shining on you like I said you're right in the middle of something you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel your heart is broken on one side but also your heart is is melting perhaps for somebody else and justice will be done you're in the spotlight as you have the sun the sun represents Aries uh, Leo but in this card she's wearing a head dress or the horns of uh, Aries okay you're strong-willed I know that um, as I know a few Sagittarius you're strong-willed and you turn determined to carry on and you're going with the flow you might be traveling you might be moving home um, but uh, a spotlight also illuminates and illumination means you need more information perhaps you need to do more research or get advice perhaps from a lawyer boom there you go but it will be positive everything will be positive you are definitely coming to an ending and a new beginning number 19 is 10 so that's an ending where there is an ending there is a new beginning also usually uh, this means also from uh, going up to the next level in a relationship if you have been able to talk it out and you've just been living together then you might be getting married because this also represents institutions municipalities so this could mean that you're not separating you've talked it out or you've grown together and you've realized that you are with your soulmate um, because this is ten of swords um, that uh, you've talked things out and the w there could have been a third party and that stabbed you in the back and your uh, your partner was influenced by them okay so they're out of the picture now because we do have three people right on top of you so that is the the karma karma will come uh, back to you threefold if you've done good or bad then usually it's the world and um, the wheel of fortune that is my karma card but I think injustice will be done the truth will come out if somebody has been unfaithful okay this could be you because you might have felt left out and not loved enough and not hugged enough not cared and nurtured for so you had a broken heart and you're back in balance because you've taken the decision to cut away you want to be with a new person and like I said this can be a cancer we are going into Scorpio not cancer we're going into Scorpio that is an emotional time with especially with the two moons and the blue moon the blue moon means uh, once in a blue moon something happens okay if you've been wanting to break free then now is the time luck is on your side okay so this other relationship it will be a, a relationship where the sun is shining on you and you will find the balance but the truth will come out okay now if you believe it will happen okay that's what the answers of the angel angels say if you believe if you trust yourself and if you trust in justice justice will be done enter the flow enter the flow so go with the flow there's a new beginning there are myriads of opinions available to you pyramids myriads are just like pyramids or loads of opinions available to you just listen to your own intuition and to an official if you are getting separated or thinking about it even if you feel rushed to act fast you'll be better able to make a long-lasting and confident decision by healing heeding the voice of your soul boom if you believe you have it within you to find the answers meditate and contemplate and evaluate you can either step back and and wait inquire and consider or meditate and pray 
or you can push ahead in harried hopes that it will all work out. Things do tend to come together in the end, but to avoid a dramatic situation that later requires unravelling, look at all your choices. Then exercise the many different ways you can express yourself. Feel how liberating it is to make a new choice and to sell past ingrained habitual responses. Instead of reacting, once you've made an intentional choice, lie back and be carried by the winds of flow in your greatest hope for direction. And usually you see your ships coming in with in the traditional uh, tarot with the three of ones. Okay, so your boat is coming in. So what you want will happen. Believe it. Okay, a very powerful reading. I hope you enjoyed it. Take care, be blessed and stay safe. Please like and share. Thank you.